He's gonna break his machine. That ice was not strong enough. That ice was not strong enough. Now how do we get it out of here? Onion bowl. No one's going in mud today. It's all frozen. It's good. I thought Todd would be tempted to go in it. So not, no mud work today in the onion bowl. I'm not going. Dave's crazy. I'm not going in it. I truly believe to participate in off-road riding you have to be an adventurous person. That's what I like about it. So I'm adventurous, but I'm probably way too overly cautious. And when I see Dave go out on this ice where I see Mikey was in, in almost three feet of water stuck, there is no way I want to take my new machine on that ice, have it break through, and have it damage the machine trying to get it out. Uh, my my front of my machine, there's a bumper. It's not an icebreaker, and I really don't want to damage a new machine going in the ice. Oh, That's I'm not going me. Over it. That's me. I'm probably overly cautious. Dave knows this area better than I do. I don't know where he's going. Todd is a combat veteran. He's a hero. He's extremely adventurous. Um, he, he has purchased a Razor 4 XP 1000 high lifter, which it has snorkels and can go in deep mud. And he wants, has been dying to ride this machine at Demon Run, watching the videos, and go in these mud holes. So where I'm overly cautious... Todd is extremely adventurous, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, he want, likes the power, and he wants to hit this hole and go through it, and he does. Uh, unfortunately, his machine breaks, and machines break in this hobby. He's going to break his machine. He's going to break his machine. He broke an axle. Because I didn't see the front tires spinning and one of the rear tires spinning, I thought that Todd had broken uh, the axles on the machine. But thanks to good engineering, the weak point is a drive belt, and that probably the drive belt breaking probably spared the breaking of the axles, which are much more expensive to replace. Hero Todd's prepared. He's got a beautiful winch mounted on his mud machine. He's out of the machine taking the winch line and hooking it around the tree. And I think the best thing is, if you're stuck, the best thing is you and your own winch and your machine to pull you out. So that's what we're doing. Your, your drive belt, at least your drive belt is broken because I can see your whole cover shaking. Yeah, you can hear the parts flapping out. So I would just start your engine, put it in neutral, and the engine will charge the battery while we use your winch. So the winch won't pull <laughs> Nice helmet. Oh, yeah. Uh, how do you like, Jen, how do you like the new helmet? <laughs> okay, Todd had tried to go through this mud bog and broke through the ice, and it, I think he at least broke his uh, drive belt. Believe it or not, you can't judge us by the way we're reacting. I know Andy, Engineer Dave, and myself are upset that Todd's belt is broken. We wanted him to have a great day today. So uh, we're just trying to work through this issue with a little bit of levity. You in neutral? Engineer Dave believes that when the machine's tires, rear tires were spinning, and then the big lug on these awesome mud tires hit the ice, that the lugs grabbed the ice and shocked 
the drivetrain back from the tire to the hub, up the axle, and broke the uh, drive belt. It was a shock effect due to the big lug on the tires grabbing the ice. And I have to say I would probably agree with Engineer Dave. So you got it. This is excellent. Do you have an extra belt? No. When all I was doing was driving side-by-sides on the trail, I always carried an extra belt with me in case I broke one on the trail. Cautious Pete, huh? Um, so I asked Todd if he had an extra belt on his machine so we could change the belt and get the machine out of the onion bowl. And then I realized I don't have a, my, I'm not carrying my extra belt on my machine in case I break a belt. So I'm not following my own rules. I hope it's only the belt. The whole cover was shaking. Oh, I told him right away it was the belt. I could uh, hear it. Yeah. I heard the, I heard the pieces wrapping up, you know, whack, 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 whack. Now how do we get it out of here? I'm answering the question of what's going to pull Todd out of here through my head and camera movements. Watch me look at my machine and look at Todd machine, Todd's machine and then Andy says, comes up with the answer which I know I'm debating in my head. Got that, uh, XMR. If there's not, if, if there's not a, if, I think that's very doable if there's not a steep hill. Dave, do you know the way out of here? I would not, ice will ice will kill those axle boots. That's why I was surprised even Dave thought of going over it. Should we try putting it in gear to see or? I would just shut it off. What? Well, you gotta un undo your winch. Because I know for sure that it's blown. And when he puts it in park, really, that's doing nothing, right? No, it's just when you have it in gear. This is gonna be tough. Well, I should be able to put it in neutral, right? You put it in neutral. What I'm saying is it will still roll, so don't get behind the machine. The only break you'll have is your foot break. You know what, guys? What? The easiest way out is backwards. No way. Andy, Andy, my concern is if I pull them out, I'm going to have two broken machines. Engineer Dave thought initially the only way out was to come reverse and, and go back the way we came. Now, even though my machine has a towing capacity of 2,500 pounds and the ground is frozen, so traction is very good, and Todd's machine weighs 1,700 pounds, well within my towing capacity, I know I cannot pull his machine up some of the hills we just came over. There's no way. So I... I Talked to Dave about doing some reconnaissance and going up a hill. I think I can pull Todd's machine up and look around, see if there's a trail to the road. I was completely wrong. There was not a way out that way. And eventually, after Dave did reconnaissance with Andy and their two machines, I, I called, um, before they came back, I think I called Farmer Dave and asked him if he would show us the way out, and he did. I'll admit, at first I was revved up and upset that Hero Todd's machine broke. I wanted him to have a great day, and I know Engineer Dave did. But I'm impressed with how calm and, and cool Todd was uh, during this event and how Engineer Dave and Commander Andy, we all worked together to, to get him out of here safely. So we're towing Hero Todd's High Lifter Polaris, Polaris High Lifter four seater out of the onion bow. I'm in low gear in the Can-Am Defender on a new transmission and new clutch. But she's pulling them out and I'm thrilled. I don't smell a belt burning. I'm going very steady on the throttle, if you can see it, 3,500 RPMs. So today, the first ride, the Can-Ams, she's a vehicle saver today. 
Thank you to Engineer Dave for his video footage taken from the back of his machine and Commander Andy for his help in getting uh, Todd's machine out of the wood and also to Todd. And uh, I have to do videos, upload videos on each of the Andy's machine and Todd's machine. Hopefully that's coming in the near future. Oh, right after Doug. Oh, I just have to go how far, how far around it? Right there, that tree. Okay, just about 20 feet. Okay. Big thank you for Farmer Dave for coming out and showing us an emergency route out of the onion bowl that we could safely tow Todd's machine out of. And, and this is an example why you want to ride with friends. Uh, so if a machine breaks down or someone gets hurt, you have your friends around you that you can all pitch in and work together to uh, to either administer first aid or get a machine out of the woods. So please always try to ride with a friend or a buddy. And uh, I'm in low gear, about 3,500 to 4,000 RPMs. And uh, jerks a little bit when we get to a big hill. But I, other than another Defender or Polaris Ranger or Razor would not have pulled this machine. It would not. So Farmer Dave, who owns Demon Run, was was uh, nice enough to come down and show us an emergency exit out of out of the Onion Bowl. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to watch this video. I hope you've learned something and you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you to my subscribers. Um, please, if you're participating in motorsports, please wear a helmet and encourage your friends and children to wear helmets when they're riding. Um, I hope to see some of you, all of you, out on the trail, if possible, or working in the yard with a tractor. And uh, please be safe and God bless. Thank you.